Rouge the Door is a brand really known for materials, such high quality materials. The man behind the brand and the perfumer is called Russian Adam, that's what he calls himself, and he sources his materials. In fact, he makes his own distillations, so he has full control of the oils that he uses when making perfume. It's pretty impressive, but because of the rarity and preciousness of the materials, they're done in smaller batches, limited edition fragrances. This one is called Ko Yi Nor, and personally, it's my favorite. What sets this one apart from the rest of the line, in my opinion, is the high presence of florals. Russian Adam collaborated with another perfumer uh, called Nikhil. He's in India, and he's also known as the perfume guru. And this has an amazing bouquet of florals, specifically jasmine sambac, tuberose, gardenia, champaka. But these florals are so perfectly balanced with the woods in the base. This has Mysore sandalwood that Russian Adam distilled himself. In my opinion, Mysore sandalwood is the best, most perfect sandalwood that exists in the world but is in very limited supply. And then there's a 30 year old agar wood or oud in here. Together, they just do something so magical. In fact, I sprayed this on just yesterday and was haunted by it for hours. It develops this kind of shipra like structure. Um, and like a good shipra, after a few hours starts to become a little bit powdery. And even though I'm saying these words like floral and powdery, you, you might think that this is a very classical feminine scent. And it's not. This is right in the middle, unisex. But what I love the most about this scent is this smokiness that starts to emerge in the dry down and really makes it so intoxicating the way it just goes with the florals. It's so interesting, in my opinion. There are a lot of fragrances out right now that are using the palette of more Middle Eastern and Oriental fragrances. But what sets this apart from a lot of those is it doesn't have that sharp perseverance. It's not one of those maximum, I get this on my skin and you can smell me throughout a stadium. It's not quite like that. It's more subdued and subtle, maybe because of the high presence of natural materials in the scent, but that's what I like. It has a very old school soul to it and what it does on skin is so spectacular. If you can get a bottle of this, I highly recommend it, especially if you're more interested in um, vintage perfumes. Um, fragrances that really take advantage of natural materials a little bit more. If you're kind of a materials person, definitely check this one out. Ko Inor from Arige Lador.